I'm Ange, I'm a project manager for Green Australia Capital Region and this is one of the projects that I've worked on over the years. Um, this project was a partnership between the Livestock Health and Pest Authority and the Malungla Catchment Group. This small travelling stock reserve, it was um, adjusted to horses and the horses were causing um, some erosion concerns in the gully, in the creek system here. So it was their decision to destock, um, undertake some weed control, they did some site preparation, they ripped and um, sprayed for us. We did two green team plantings, so out with our green team volunteers in um, spring 2007 and autumn 2008. And they've planted approximately six or seven hundred plants overall. The benefits, I suppose, for the LHPA were that the um, stabilisation of the creek was improved, the ground cover is returned. You can see the poa tussocks, the native poa tussocks have come back really well as well. Overall, it's, it's been quite a success. Yeah. So source water protection is a, a section of ACTU water, previously ACTU AGL. We're delivering the incentive funding to landowners across the catchment on their behalf. For most of the sites that we've had, they all uh, undertook fencing. Some had alternative stock water, so trough systems put in place, um, and revegetation. For ACTU, um, they have a focus on source water protection, so uh, trying to reduce the amount of pathogens, particularly, that enter the waterways through um, uncontrolled stock access and also um, sediment, so to reduce the sedimentation and the erosion of the banks. The benefits for them, most landowners recognise that there are water quality issues um, and would prefer to have stable banks and, and a good riparian zone so that when they do need to utilise it, it it's um, in a better condition. Uh, also filtration, so creating those buffer strips between the fenced paddock and the riparian area means that the water quality is improved and a lot of those um, nutrients are filtered out. And, and, and it's an opportunity for them to get some funding to do this work. They get, landowners get some funding assistance and technical advice also. They do need to have some time to actually do the work, so to erect the fences if there's fencing required and, and put the stock water systems in place. Um, and sometimes we can help out with the, with the planting. You can contact us at Green Australia and we can let them know if the site that they have and where they're located fits into the ACTU Source Water Protection Project. Is, it just requires a, a site visit from um, our project officer, me, and uh, it's a two-page application form, so it's very simple, very straightforward. 